Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by your RC Experts here at Horizon Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. Today we're talking about binding and calibrating your ABC receiver and your ESC in the axial rift. So you want to add the axial rift to your favorite spectrum transmitter. There's a few steps you need to take. Do the SR6100 AT receiver that's installed in the rift. You'll have to bind and calibrate the receiver before you get started. So we'll walk you through the steps. Once we have the receiver box open, you'll want to grab a battery for your power of the system and also the transmitter you'll be using. You also want to refer to the manual for the binding procedure of the transmitter because each transmitter is different for the binding procedure. For example, we're using the DX5C smart transmitter. You'll actually want to have this on before you start because you actually have to go into a bind menu. So we'll go ahead and go to the bind menu now. Have it ready to go when ready to bind. Go ahead and power the system up. Once you have power to the system, You'll want to hit the bind button on the actual receiver. Once you do that, the light will start flashing as you see here. It's in bind mode. So now I go ahead and bind on the transmitter itself. Once the receiver is bound to the transmitter, you'll see a solid orange light. So now let's go ahead and button everything up to set up the ABC. Now let's go ahead and flip the truck over, leave everything plugged in because we still have to calibrate ABC. We still have to install two more screws up here on the top, so go do that. So the last and final step, which is important, the truck needs to be flat and still to calibrate ABC. So you're gonna hit full throttle, full brake, full right, and full left. Once you do that, you'll see your servo recenters. Now your ABC is calibrated in your receiver. Now it's time to calibrate the ESC. To start off by getting the vehicle off the ground, allow the tires to spin free while setting the ESC all up. Good to go. Next, go ahead and fire up your transmitter. Once your transmitter is fired up, make sure your endpoints are zeroed out and also your throw is at 100% for your throttle and brake while setting the ESC up. Now you want to get the ESC in calibration mode. By doing so, you'll hold the set button, which is located on the on-off switch. You'll hold it for roughly three seconds. While doing so, you'll see a red flashing light and a motor beep. Once you see that, go ahead and let go of the set button and you're in calibration mode. So we have it in calibration mode. Now it's time to set the endpoints for the ESC. The first setting is neutral. Without any input on the transmitter, you'll actually hit the set button again to lock in neutral. While doing so, you'll see a green flashing light to let you know it was locked in. Now it's time for full throttle. So you're going to hold full throttle and hit the set button. In that, you'll see two flashing green lights to let you know that the full throttle has been locked in. So for brake, you'll see three flashing green lights and a motor beep. Once you see that, you let go. And now it's going to synchronize your ESC. Just to make sure everything works, you're going to give it a little throttle to make sure it's actually spinning in the right direction. There you go. That's how you set your receiver up and calibrate your ESC on your axial rift. Stay tuned for more videos from your RC experts here at Horizon Hobby.